52 block relevant rant. Uh, why is 52 block relevant to what you're doing? Um, you know, I, I feel I have to keep making these videos besides just doing the movements. Because, you know, I get these phone calls. And to this day, of like, what is 52? Um, is it Wing Chun? Is, was it a Wing Chun master who got into a boxing ring and decided to play his Wing Chun methods and that's how 52 Blocks was created. Uh, is it another Kung Fu? Um, and a lot of this is the thing that I get. And to answer that question right now, um, no. You know, uh, there are a lot of connections from 52 Blocks to the uh, original uh, uh, motherland, um, as we can say. And um, but for, uh, for all intent and purposes, it's an American fighting style. Black American fighting style, and um, you know, I, you know, we've been we've been conditioned to believe that uh, you know Chinese martial arts um, are always effective, and they're not. And um, some styles work, some styles don't work, depending on the person training it. But some styles may not work. Some styles may be out of reality, but. Um, uh, this the superior superiority over, you know, over here us. Could we have created the style? And yes, the style came from a struggle, just like their struggle, Chinese struggle. The Mongols were always attacking them. They had to come up with a way to fight, and they mastered a lot of empty hand fighting styles. When somebody's always trying to take what you got on a regular basis, then that that type of pressure can force you into a box with yeah, fighting. Being good at fighting may be your only way of saving yourself. There's no, there's no difference from 52 blocks. It comes, from, it came out of a black man struggle, and um, this struggle produced this style. And uh, you know, certain styles you can go back to the actual founder of the style. And because of, you know, we can't give with 52 blocks. There's no one person that we can say, all right, this guy Robert E. Whatever, he's the founder. He, he sat down, he came up with all of this stuff, and he put it out there. Now, that may be cool, but see, to me, even a style like that is limited to one man's bias. See, what makes 52 bigger is a community style. The community has built 52. That's why you can't locate it and take it back to one person. It's a community. We're talking Jack Johnson's struggle, you know, uh, the Chitlin Circuit, 10, 10 men blindfolded in the ring. Uh, uh, Dixon, you know, he had to fight in tall, small circles because they was bashing his, his his shins with billy clubs if he laid on the ropes. So, you know, these are styles of defense that came out of a necessity to survive. And these are the ones that are um, good. And then other men added on to them. Then from their struggle, they added on to it. And this is how the 52 Blocks was created. It's a community style. It's a village style. It's a uh, uh, Black men who all put you know, parts to it, and other men too. I'm not going to say just 100% black men. I'm pretty sure there was others, but um, this was our thing that we offered. It's this defense, and um, from this defense, 52 blocks was created, and um, it's a relevant style. It's a relevant style of defense. Now, anybody who doesn't believe you need defense, then continue catching punches with your, you know, your face, or however you block them. Um, but if you plan to be a fighter with longevity, defense is necessary. So when you see somebody fight like Triple G, Triple G, how do you be the fighter like that? How do we be the fighter like Triple G? Do we go in there and we just try to, you know, out offense them, out hit them? We see what happened with that. So this is the problem. Defense is needed at all times. So when you get to the top of the list, Everybody has a powerful punch, kick, and a choke out. So what's going to separate you from him? Your ability to defend against one of his powerful chokes, kicks, punches, or whatever the case may be, and then apply your offense. And this is 52 blocks. It's not a kung fu movie of we're just here blocking. No, it's a block meant to set up your offense. You know, the equivalent to standing behind the building with a gun and shooting at somebody who's standing in the middle of the street. So, you know, this is the mind state. So, when 
know, I get a lot of people saying 52 doesn't work. But if you don't believe defense works, then, you know, like I said, you know, walk around as a hitting bag and see how far that takes you. But here at the School of Defense, we want to go home. We want to still look pretty. We want to still, you know, look at our kids and have our kids recognize us of, of who we are. Uh, we want to be able to talk right later in life, you know, not be MC mumble mouth. So for all of those that don't want part of the ladder, you know, find yourself a 52 block school. We are the one style that is exclusively defensive. We talking against bullies. We talking against attackers for females. We talking kids, you know, I'm teaching young men how to evade, duck, block, leave the situation. And of course there's offense added, but this is something that you want to save as your last option. want to give a man defense is giving the man mercy some people don't know what they're doing and by not attacking outright you can actually save somebody and if further aggress then you know natural law you have to protect yourself self-preservation so it's your boy find yourself a 52 block school find yourself a 52 block teacher you can holler at me 347-816-5357 my lessons are $45 a class now Hurry up and catch me now, because they're going up. You know, I'm gonna get them now before I reach $100 an hour and I get on some, some next level stuff. Stop, that'll never happen. Your boy remains helpful to the game. It's your boy, 52 Block, the team, the family.